Super Gobots, the mightiest Gobots of all. Stacks leader one inside, kill so separately. Think you're big enough for the king of the road? Try me. In the 80s, the only real transforming toy line that gave Gobots a run for its money was Transformers. It was seen by many as a lesser Transformer line, but by others as the supreme transforming toy line. However, by 1986, Tonka had started to feel some sales slip in the line. It was still a success, but it was clear Transformers was taking sales away. And the best days were behind them. So rather than fully cancel the line, Tonka thought a movie and a spin-off series would bring life back to GoBots. With a Transformer movie already planned for 1986, Tonka hurried to produce one also. Their movie would star some of the biggest Hollywood actors, like Mario Kidder, Ronnie McDowell, and Telly Savalas. GoBots, Battle of the Rock Lords. Them. There'll be no miraculous escape this time. GoBots Battle of the Rock Lords was not only supposed to help boost the sales of GoBot action figures, but also kick off its new spin off toy line, Rock Lords. However, the movie wasn't quite the success that Tonka had hoped for. Just at the U.S. box office, the film would make $1.3 million. Its rival toy competitor, Transformers, its movie would rake in $5 million. GoBot had rushed into production to get the film out before Transformers but it did little to help the box office or the toy line. The movie was dead in the water, but Tonka still had hopes for the spin-off toy line could be successful even without the movie. Rock Lords would be released in 1986, around the same time as the film. However, very little was done to tie it in with GoBots, as the package didn't really tell kids that played with GoBots that Rock Lords was part of the GoBots series. It was clear Tonka was trying to get this line to stand on his own, and not be seen as a tie-in for GoBots, who was starting to lose sales. Even the commercials for the toy line didn't hint that this was part of the GoBot cinematic universe. Control their appearance, but no force in the universe can contain the power and the fury of Rock Lords. Shaking, quaking, crashing, breaking. Rock Lords, powerful living rock. Each sold separately from Tonka. The line would be made up of different fractions. The evil Rock Lords would be ten figures. The fossil Lords would only be five. But it was clear Tonka was putting a lot of money in this line, as it didn't hold back. Not only was there two bad teams, there were also good guys, heroic rock lords, made up of 11 figures. Then there was the monster set, Spike Stone and Terror Rock. Tonka would also release Rock Lord Gnarlies, that was just kind of some weird hybrid rock with hair. Tonka would also release Shock Rocks, made up of three figures. A playset called Stonehead was planned but never released. This toy line was robots that transformed into rocks which seemed to be something that was really big around this time in the 80s, as they wasn't the only toy company releasing transforming rocks. Although the series wasn't a success, Tonka did release three series, but the line was canceled in 1987, only after one year's release. Today you can pick up some of the figures, even on the card, for about $30, while some of them will be in the low 100s. Well that's a look at the failed spin-off action figure line to GoBots called Rock Lords. And yes, I know a lot of it was taken or borrowed from Bandite's Monster Robot line. You don't have to tell me in the comments. But you can tell me if you play with Rock Lords. It is a cool sounding name for a toy line. Well, I want to thank you for watching. As always, thumb up so you like my content. Subscribe to the channel. Talk again soon. GoBots Battle of the Rock Lords, the movie. From Clubhouse Pictures, rated G. Coming soon to a theater near you. Hey, Jumpman <laughs> channel popping, though. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony.